Welcome to Jarvis VIP room, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, trying to get everything situated with my notes and everything. I'm your host, James Joffion, King Joffy, or just Joffy, or just James, whatever you prefer. We're going to get into these movie reviews real quick. This is one of the movies that I woke up early this morning to watch, and it is called Love and Monsters. This movie came out, what, I think a couple months ago, and I wanted to get into watching it, but I never could because I was just so freaking busy. But finally got a chance to watch it. So let's get at these notes. Get at these notes. <laughs> terrible and uh let's go ahead and uh talk about this movie so love and monsters is rated pg-13 it's a venture comedy came out the year 2020 of course one hour and 49 minutes of runtime it has a seven point seven out of ten on imdb 91 percent rotten tomatoes what 5.4 out of 5 on common sense 89 percent like this movie for google users so let's read the synopsis real quick Seven years after the monster apocalypse, Joel Dawson, along with the rest of humanity, has been living underground ever since giant creatures took control of the land. After reconnecting over the radio with his high school girlfriend, Amy, oh, they spell Amy different, A-I-M-E-E. Is anybody out there who spells Amy like that? A-I-M-E-E? That's pretty, pretty cool, pretty different. Tell me about that in the comments below if you do, or if you heard of anybody like that. Anyways. Amy, who is now 80 miles away at a coastal colony, Joel begins to fall for her again. As Joel realizes that there's nothing left for him underground, he decides to venture out to Amy despite all the dangerous monsters that stand in his way. Release date was October 16, 2020. Ha! Knew it was a couple months ago. Director Michael Matthews' budget for this film was $30 million USD. Producers Sean Levy, Dan Cohen, screenplay by Brian DeField. Duffield and Matthew Robinson. Let's get into the cast real quick. Dylan O'Brien played Joel Dawson, who I I like. This was he was good in this. His emotions, everything. It was really great. Um, ugh, one of my uh, Hollywood, <laughs> one of my Hollywood um, crushes, Jessica Henwick. I love her. If you don't know who Jessica Henwick is, she was uh, on Daredevil. No, not Daredevil. Well, yeah, I guess she could, no, she was on. Iron Fist, as uh, she's on Iron Fist. Uh, she was also on Game of Thrones. Um, she played in quite a few handful of movies, uh, but I, it's something about her that I like. I just love her. I I, I want to meet her and have her babies. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Anyways, so Ariana Greenblatt, I liked her. She was good. Michael Rooker, the OG. I don't know anybody who does not like Michael Rooker. He he he's awesome. I, I hope I get a chance to meet this guy. He just seems he has a certain type of coolness to him, and he's been in films for a while. And I dig Michael Rooker, man. He's a cool guy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this movie real quick. So, what did I think about the film? I loved it. I enjoyed it. Since the first time I saw the trailer, I was like, it's something about that movie where I was just like, I like it. It can come off as if if you see the saw the trailer for you, be like you probably say like nah, I'll pass. You shouldn't pass on this one. This was a pretty good film if you're into movies like this, of course. I enjoyed Love and Monsters. Where can you watch Love and Monsters? Of course, you can stream it if you have a Fire Stick or stream it through Amazon Prime if you have Amazon Prime or just want to download it for a little bit just so you can watch it. Um, but yeah, those are the two streaming sites. Of course, oh Showtime I believe as well too. If you have Showtime, I think you can watch it on that as well as well. But Love and Monsters, pretty much, it kind of reminded me of, what's that game that came out uh, so long ago? I was in high school. I think it was like a Shadow, I won't say Shadow, yeah, I guess you could say Shadow Colossus type of feel because Love and Monsters is in the title. The guy is trying to travel across from, all the way from here to there for love. Same thing, it was not the same thing as Shadow Colossus, pretty much, you know, it's, it's pretty much Shadow Colossus. The, the main protagonist, he's fighting these monsters, got a little horse or whatever, trying to fight and save his girlfriend and all that. And But, you know, this one is kind of different. He's fighting these monsters to get to his girlfriend. So it was a good film, good watch. It was funny. Um, uh, I would have done some, if it was me writing, I would have done probably a bit more comedic takes on it comedic, to give it that give that real good comedic feel to it, but it's still fine as what as it is. Um, O'Brien, the main protagonist, he's great. Like I said earlier, his his face expressions, the way how he acts, the way how he carries himself, 
he is pretty much a character that you would not want to come and save you. <laughs> he is that guy. He is that guy that, you know, that you want um, in cooking your dinner or ironing your clothes or he's not the brave type. He's not the alpha male type at all. And that's what I love about it, the movie as well. It gives you that feeling of, say, for example, if you yourself, if you're like, I don't, I'm not built like a hero or whatever, but hell, I'm going to try to get my girlfriend. I'm going to try to fight for my loved one, even though it may seem like a full adventure because you look like somebody that's going to get killed. So <laughs> I enjoyed this movie. And for that alone, because uh, his character and how he acts, it made me root for the character. So. It was a good film. Overall, Love and Monsters. If you have not seen it, tell me, well, get on, get, pretty much watch the movie and uh, tell me what you think. Uh, with that being said, oh, oh, I don't want to finish the movie review off like that. Um, the CGI effects. Of course, you know, CGI is CGI, uh, but I still enjoyed it. The monsters were pretty, pretty scary. I'm not going to lie. If I saw some big giant insect that i could simply easily crush yeah that's a problem man I, I i that's a straight up problem now like what once was a cockroach is a giant cockroach you saw that that movie called mimic it's been a long time since i watched it i probably want to go back and watch that one but if you saw that you saw how big these ants and roaches and spiders and can get big thought i heard something sorry talking about all these, these insects and stuff man i don't I know how I am with bugs. I don't like them shits. Anyways, but yeah, so what once was a roach that you can squash with a shoe is now a giant roach that you got to squash with an even bigger shoe or a gun or something more deadlier. <laughs> so I enjoyed the monsters. I enjoyed, oh, he has a little dog too. I love dogs. I like dogs that like me. And I enjoyed that dog. That was a that's an amazing dog. I like that dog. Uh, the characters, everyone from the monsters to the Everything about this film, I enjoyed it. I think you will too. It's a good pastime, um, and I think the kids will enjoy it too. If you do, if kids are watching it, a little bit of cussing in it just to prepare you for that. But uh, over overall, uh, no nudity, of course. Um, but yeah, overall, great film. So if you have seen Love and Monsters, comment below, tell me what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon. Till next time, be safe, be good to each other, have a good one.